last week we discussed about theorems on limits and evaluating limits, no? And ano pa ba yung discuss natin? Graphing. So we have this two graph here. So ito yung pag-usapan nating theorems ngayon. It talks about the infinite limits. Pag sinabi natin infinite, mada define ba natin siya? Ano ba natin kung magdang saan siya? Hindi. So, gaya na may kita natin dito sa graph, if we have this function, yan, magkuha natin yung function nito, or we can name the function as f of x. So, to find the limit, so we know that this function, the limit of the function, is approaching zero from the left. Nakita natin yun na from the left kasi negative tayo. It's approaching zero from the left. And itong isa naman, we are approaching zero from the right naman siya. Dito siya nanggaling sa right. Pagpunta dito sa ating x. Kuha yun? So yun yung pinagkaiba nilang dalawa. Now, if you have these limits, we have these two formulas. So ang magiging sagot lang ninyo dito, kapag may ganitong tanong, it's either positive infinity or negative infinity. Kasi... Hindi naman natin alam kung saan talaga siya pagtungo. Kung hanggang saan yung limit ng ating function. Gets yun? So, let R be any positive integer. Pag sinabi natin positive integer, what is positive integer? Tagal. Any counting numbers. Counting numbers. So, ibig sabihin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Pwede ba si fraction? No. no. Pwede ba si negative numbers? No. no. So, these are just the counting numbers. So, first theorem, the limit of 1 over x raised to r as x approaches 0 from the right is always positive infinity. Yan ay tatandaan natin. Kapag mag approach tayo from the right, going to zero, that is always positive infinity. And any number itong r, pwede 1, 2, 3, and so on. Huwag lang siya magiging fraction or negative. Second theorem, limit of 1 over x raised to r as x approaches zero from the left. So, galing naman sa left. So, dalawa yung possible answer. Positive infinity siya if R is even. Ano ba yung mga even? So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Okay? And negative infinity if R is odd. 1, 3, 5, 7. So, ganda lang kadali itong magiging topic natin. So, the basta familiar lang sa dalawang theorem na ito. Now, let's try examples. Here, limit of 1 over x raised to 9 as x approaches 0 from the right. Samir. <coughs> Positive infinity. Bakit? So, approaching from the right, nasa anong theorem siya? One. Theorem 1. Okay? Number 2. Limit of 1 over x raised to 13 <coughs> as x approaches 0 from the left. Avila. Negative infinity. Why negative infinity? Odd number. Odd number yung ating exponent or yung r angle. Number three, limit of one over x raised to six as x approaches zero from the left. Hans. Positive infinity. Positive infinity kay Hans. Any other answer? Pego contra ba? Sure? Ego contra ba? 
Wala. So, okay, positive infinity. <laughs> yeah, positive infinity. Kasi, although we are approaching from the left, tignan natin yung ating exponent, yung r natin, that is even number, so we have positive infinity. How about number four? Limit of one over x raised to 46 as x approaches zero from the right. Positive infinity. Ano ating mo Next, number five. Brilliantes. Kasi brilliantes. Positive infinity. Why positive infinity? Even number yung ating. Okay? And last one. Positive. Madali? Okay. So, ganyan lang si infinite limits. So, kapihin mo lang yung sagot. Okay, stop writing. Everyone eyes on the board. Mayan ulit yung kopya. Okay. So, in our previous lesson, Theorems on Limits, kapag nakakita tayo ng ganito, <laughs> di ba, we have how many theorems? Eight. 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 Pang nine yung polynomial. Na yung pinaka-shortcut, you're just going to substitute. Kapag sinubstitute natin itong nakikita natin example dito sa number one, so, magiging zero si denominator. Tapos, ang sagot ninyo last week ay D and E. Okay. D and E or does not exist. May mga sagot tayong ganon. Nagiging does not exist siya kasi hindi natin ma-define kung hanggang saan doon yung limit. Tama? So, since we are in the infinite limits, saan ba talaga siya nag approach Is it the negative infinity? or in positive infinity. Alin nga ba siya? So, yun yung magiging next theorems natin. So, although, kapag pinotomat natin ito, <laughs> verify your solution, ang lalabas dun, syntax or wala. Error. Undefined. Kapag kinalculate naman natin, mag error. Kasi, magiging zero itong denominator natin. Kasi if we have zero denominator, that is undefined. Now, in this theorem, saan nga ba siya nag approach Is it the positive infinity or negative infinity? So, medyo critical yung mga theorem, pero yung summarize natin siya. If we have limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches any number that is equal to positive infinity, if C or the constant is equal to zero, and g of x approaches zero from the right. Or if C is less than zero and g of x approaches zero from the left. May din din naman tayo. Karon wala. Okay. Siya sabi lang niya kapag sinabstitute na daw natin sinabstitute na natin yung approaching natin approaching number alam naman natin na magsisiro ang denominator pero ang titignan natin ay yung sign kapag ang sign daw natin ay positive sa numerator at nag approach tayo sa positive that is equal to positive infinity. Okay? So, kasi pala silang positive. Same sign sila. At yung ikaw namang isa, kapag negative daw yung sign ng ating numerator, at nag approach tayo, coming from the left, or negative, is still positive infinity ang sagot. Okay? 
Pero pag magkaiba, sya na itong tier number 2, positive yung sign mo sa numerator, then approaching from the left, magiging negative infinity na sya. Okay, para mas maintindihan, let's apply in our example number 1. So, substitute natin. We have here 3. So, magiging 2 times 3 plus 1 over ito yung magiging 3 minus 3. Magiging 0 talaga siya. 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, 7 over 0. Ayan, undefined siya. Pero, approaching nga siya from the positive or negative infinity. Check the sign. Anong sign ni 7? Positive. Ano yung approaching natin? Positive. Positive din. So, parehas. Positive, positive, that is equal to positive. Positive. Nako ha? Yan lang yung sabi ng theory. How about this one? This is 7. I'll substitute natin. This will become 4 Minus 3 times 7 over 7 minus 7. So we have 4 minus 21 over 0. Now we have 4 minus 21, negative 17 over 0. Check the sign. Pass a negative. Tapos, approaching to the left end. So, parehas sila. So, this is positive. positive. Approaching from positive. Nakuha yun? Yes. How about this one? Paano na to? So, paano nga ba? So, pwede mo natin gawin Separate natin silang dalawa. So, distribute natin itong limit natin. This will become limit of 2 over 5 plus x. As x approaches negative 5 from the left. Plus limit of x minus 1 over x squared. As x approaches negative 5 from the and then substitute the natin ngayon. So, ito, magiging 2 over magiging 5 plus negative 5. Plus, ito naman, negative 5 minus 1 over Negative 5. Simplify natin ito. This will become 2 over 0. Plus, ito naman, negative 6 over 21. Positive 21. So, alam natin ito ay undefined. Pero, hindi naman natin pwede sabihin undefined lahat na ng term. Kaya hanapin natin kung siya ba yung negative infinity or positive infinity. So check the sign. Positive ang numerator. Tama? Approaching natin, negative. So this is negative infinity. Bakit negative? Magkaiba. Ito ay positive while you approaching natin ay from the left leg. Kuha Plus, negative 6 over 25, negative times positive, this will become negative 6 over 25. If we subtract 6 over 25 from negative infinity, ano sagot natin? It's still negative, negative. Tanggalan mo ng 6 over 25 ang negative infinity. Dahil di natin alam yung value ng infinite na yon, 
is still negative infinity. Okay? So that's the infinite limit. Now, can you try number four? Multiplication naman to. So, ang sagot lang natin dyan, either positive infinity or negative infinity. 